Welcome back. You've joined a small group of riders from the Hog Auckland chapter and we're travelling south uh, through the Linders Pass and the Alpine Highway. Linders Pass is a fantastic piece of road between the towns of Omarama in the north and Cromwell in the south. Now Cromwell is our destination. We're heading off there for the Southern Raw 2022 which is put on by the Christchurch Hog Chapters and the Deep South Hog Chapters and we were clever enough to get our tickets and set ourselves off on a ride and this is day five of that ride. It's a Friday in November and we're heading along through once again some pretty amazing looking uh, South Island riding uh, country. Beginning of last year, we came through the Linders Pass in a rental car. We picked up a car in Queenstown and then drove up to Lake Bukaki uh, and came through the Linders Pass. And while it was very enjoyable and fantastic views and all, I have to say that seeing the area from the back of a motorbike is it just brings everything into so much greater perspective. Um, what a fabulous alien kind of landscape this is. Um, it's, it's really quite breathtaking and it becomes even more so when you're drinking it all in from the back of a motorbike. Now I've heard people say that yeah, when you're in a car it's like uh, watching a movie from your seat and that's, that's a beautiful thing but when you're on a motorbike it's like you're actually in the movie and it really is quite spectacular. The landscapes here, nothing like what we get in the North Island, at least no place I've been close comparison might be the desert road and I guess that's because that's also a highly elevated road, in fact the most highest um, elevated part of the state roading network. The Lindus Pass here is the second highest part of the road network in New Zealand so there's some similarities there, at least for these uh, magnificent scenes of uh, desolation I suppose you'd call it, beautiful desolation. Once again we found that the weather gods were smiling on us for this journey because the, uh, as you can see the weather was fabulous. Uh, this is mid-November and by rights it can also get pretty cold here but uh, not this day. We had some fabulous really quite warm weather, we were getting quite hot over this uh, piece of road and it was thoroughly enjoyable. Now of course it can get cold up here, you can get snow through the Linders Pass back there before the summit lookout there were a lot of uh, parking bays where you can stop to put on chains. Now I wouldn't want to do that on a motorbike of course but I wouldn't want to ride through here in snow and ice either. Now at the time this segment had been filmed, we'd been on the road already, this is the fifth day uh, riding together as a group and this is one of the uh, smallest sections of rides that uh, we put together on any single day. We rode from Mount Cook, we stopped at Twizel for breakfast where we had the miraculous uh, rejoining of the fob keys, the lost fob keys from Lake Bukaki. And then we carried on our way and this is where you see us here. So in total we're travelling only about 200 and just under 220 kilometres today. So pretty uh, small scale ride but through some absolutely amazing landscapes so we're pretty grateful for that. It's a nice way to finish up and especially with the weather being as uh, awesome as it was. Blue skies, couldn't ask for more. As I mentioned uh, before, this here, day five, is the realisation of the whole reason for our trip heading down south, which was to attend the Southern Raw gathering in Cromwell. This is uh, or becoming an annual event. It's put on by the Deep South Hog Chapter and the Christchurch Hog Chapter combined. And 
He gets a pretty good following. There's, I think they had over 300 tickets sold for members, and it's only open to Hog Chapter members, um, all assembling here in the South Island. So this is uh, our coming in on the home stretch. At this point, when we get to Cromwell, we would have put in some saddle time about 1,640, 1,650 kilometres from when we left uh, when we left home in Auckland and we've had some pretty amazing sights and sounds on the on the way down on this journey and I've yet to uh, show, share even I've got a lot more to share yet on YouTube which I will definitely do so You might have noticed the landscape is changing around us now. We're doing one final climb here before we head over the crest of this particular hill, of which I really don't know the name of it, I'm afraid, but on the far side across there we can see again the Southern Alps. And we're heading down now into pretty much the area leading up on the home stretch into Cromwell. On our right we travel past a large body of water which I've since found out is Lake Dunstan. You can see it there and we're just turning right now from the Taras Cromwell Road uh, into the final stretch taking us into the uh, town of Cromwell itself through State Highway 8B. And from this point on we're real close. We're crossing over the uh, Clutha River bridge right here. And the town of Cromwell is just on the other side of the bridge. And the Five Stags, which is the location of the uh, Southern Roar event, is pretty conveniently located just on the other side of this bridge. So we're going to pull in there and we'll just let it play out. There's a few photographs to show at the end, um, which will be there. So stick around to see those. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, this little ride down the Lindus Pass and get to enjoy our arrival at the uh, Five Stags for the Southern Raw 2022. Many thanks again to everybody that organised this from the Deep South Hog Chapters and the Christchurch Hog Chapters. We had a ball over these two days. That's it for now. Ride safe, take care. See you next week.